Hello, my name is Joey Gaminden, and I am the coordinator for Residence Education, or as we call them, CREs. Um, I oversee the Duncan Apartments, um, and so today we're going to take you all on a tour of the Duncan community, um, and also show you what the um, outside area and uh, where all the important aspects and features are uh, if you live in the Duncan Apartments, and show you all a room today. So we're excited to have you all here. Um, so I'm going to point out some key features as we're outside right now. Um, so over there is where our Harmon garage is. So um, that's one of the parking options that you all have um, if you live in, par uh, uh, live in Duncan. Over here, you'll see our mail system. Um, if you have envelopes or small packages, typically they, if they can be placed inside one of these mailboxes, that's where they'll go. Otherwise, you'll use the address that's on, uh, located with your particular Duncan apartment. Uh, so we have um, Duncan A, uh, C, D, and E. There's no B, but B is our community center. So A through E minus B. Um, there's an attached address, physical address for that, um, that will have delivered outside your door and stuff like that for packages. So the address is all located in our housing website. So make sure you're using that for when you're selling, uh, sending mail to yourself, okay? Um, what we also have down here, um, as you can see some more of our Duncan apartments, these are actually our building C apartments. Um, and then down here is a little, um, we have some trails and pathways and stuff like that. Um, uh, little bike trails that we have available to connect to yeah, uh, right behind. Greenway. The Greenway connects, connects to, to uh, 35, 36 miles maybe yeah. of, of a pathway. And then Emily, did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi everyone. My name's Emily. I'm a marketing intern with University Housing. And feel free to tell us where you're tuning in from and go ahead and ask any questions that you have in the chat. Do you, uh, do you get on the trail ever, Joey? You a biker? Uh, no, I've, I've, I've biked a couple times, but I'll go run and walk on the trails and stuff like that pretty, uh, pretty often, so that's fun. Sure. And they go all the way up to Rogers. Yes. Uh, so if you want to bring a bike or just walk, you can actually get to Dixon pretty closely from here. Oh, yeah. Which is our entertainment street. So right here. Um, so we have like, uh, over here. Um, behind me, there's a grill and everything um, that students can use. We'll have um, some grill supplies at the front desk, um, but obviously most of that stuff is gonna be provided by y'all. Uh, we'll keep it functioning and clean and that sort of stuff for y'all though. Um, we also have a fire pit out here. Um, we'll do some like programs and stuff like that. Um, usually we'll, we might have like a movie screen flopped up here for a program and we'll watch a movie out here do a s'more staying a grill out we always one of our first programs we do for duncan is a grill out and we'll have some food and games and stuff like that for that first week um uh, when you guys move in and everything for y'all so this is a nice little space uh that we have and provide for students do you know how many students live in duncan? yeah we have 200 students that live in our duncan apartments okay and this is really our only apartment complex yes um, it is you live when you live here you're I mean, you're like on campus and off campus at the same time. Yeah, it's a nice little blend. We have RAs here. Yeah, so we actually have, because it is an upperclassman community, we don't have a, a traditional, what you would call an RA. He's a community development assistant. Um, this year, his name is Sonny. He's going to be living in the Duncan Apartments, and uh, one of the apartments. And he'll be there and he'll help put on programs along with myself. He'll, um, both him and myself will put on some programs for the students that live here. Um, we'll do some outreach and everything. Um, this year, I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff off campus and providing students to go to that. Mm -hmm. um, last year, I took them to Top Golf. That was a super su uh, successful event where we took, brought a bunch of our Duncan students to go do that together. What's Top Golf? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that miniature uh, golf? Yeah, uh, it's like uh, golf bowling. It's you know like we have Top a golf? brand new one that opened up golf. in uh, Rogers and we took our students there and everything. Um, so this year, we're gonna be doing some more like once a month type of series where we take students off campus and pay for them to go do it. Um, so like a bowling night, we'll go up to Altu, which is that trampoline park. Uh, we might do a movie night, that sort of stuff. So it's a great opportunity for you to meet other people in our Duncan community and other upperclassmen in the area. Nice. So do we want to go Let's in there? Let's go in through the main, yeah, this yeah. is B we're going into, right? Yeah, so we do have a B building, but it's not a residential building. It's where our community center and our, where the gym facility is located. Yeah. that's Bob. Yes, and so uh, for the community center, you actually have to bob into. And so in here, uh, we will have a, a hot admin. So if you're having issues with your mail or anything, um, or if you're locked out as during the day, 
um, you would come up here and talk to Miss Diane. Um, otherwise, you can also just call the Ari and Judy. We'll have them on hours if Miss Diane is not here, and they can let you back into your room and everything. Um, in here, we have the community. Uh, this is, like I said, the community center. So sometimes if we're not doing stuff outside, we might do something like a meet and, meet and greet right here. Um, in this area, um, there's a TV. It's a nice little space for if you want to get out of your apartment and you want to use a space for studying and stuff like that, this is a good, a good area to do it as well. So we're going to go upstairs now and showcase y'all the um, uh, uh, gym. The gym, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, bear with us if while we get in the elevator in case we lose any connection or anything. I, uh, I know that the people who live here generally it satisfies their needs quite a bit and the fact that we do a nine month uh, contract is something that's attractive to people yes. as we're, rather than a full year so yes. you don't have to become your own landlord and subcontract. Right, yes. A lot of students will be here during the academic year and then want to leave in the summer. Mm -hmm. So it's a good option if you're looking for that. And it fills up pretty quickly. Yeah, we, uh, we always, like, once it opens up for upperclassmen to sign up for, uh, uh, to live on campus again as upperclassmen, it fills up pretty, pretty, pretty quick. You used to have some LLCs that would kind of continue the experience in their second year here. Air Force especially. Do you know if they uh, They don't do it here, okay. but they do it down in Dunham Pomp, right? Gotcha. Um, so this is the gym that's located in the Duncan community. Only Duncan students have access to it, which is really nice. Um, so like I said, it's, it's a low-key gym, uh, so it's really nice of like, maybe you just want the space for yourself. And if you're just like, hey, I want the whole thing to myself for that time, for that hour or two, something like that, I don't want to work without with someone else, um, then we have a reservation system that you can do that and you can just email me myself and we will put those reservation signs up for you So you can have the space to yourself, which is super nice um, But it does have like a workout station. We have some uh, bike systems a um, Treadmills a workbench and some weights and stuff like that that students can use which is nice And we also have two little water fountains over here uh, for residents to utilize. So, yeah, yeah all right. Well, is that is that pretty much the common spaces? Yes, that is um, all the common space. Yeah. We'll go into a uh, resident yeah space then. So I'll show you all a room and um, give you all a tour of that. Um, we're gonna go over to the A building. I think it's 105 A. Um, so uh, building A 105. So I'll show you all what that looks like. So. Joey, where did you join us from? Yeah, so University. I am. There we go. I am originally from uh, uh, from from Georgia, right outside Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up um, in Georgia. I went and got my undergrad degree at civil uh, uh, in civil engineering at Kennesaw State, and uh, the RA there, and decided you know I still wanted to do stuff with ho uh, with housing and uh, student affairs. So I went and got my master's in higher education at uh, Mercer, and once I was done there, I decided. All right, let me, let me finally move out of Georgia. And so uh, <laughs> um, I got a job interview out here. They flew me and toured me around Fayetteville. I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So I've been out here for four years now. So I really enjoyed out here in Fayetteville. It's awesome, awesome community. So here we're outside uh, 105 Building A. And so one a unique feature that all the um, um, Duncan Apartments have is a little storage community area right when you walk in here and stuff like that. So if you want to have... Um, so sometimes students will put some boxes, storage stuff in here. Uh, maybe you have furniture in the room, like your chair, that you have your own chair and you want to store in here, then you can utilize that storage space and stuff like that. So that's nice. Um, you also could put your bike in there, anything that you want to um, as an additional storage unit. So we're going to go inside one of the rooms. There's a lock there. Yes. So um, there's two types of Duncan apartments. Um, there is the four bed, one bath, and then there's the four bed, two bath. So the way that's uh, structured is if you are in a um, four bedroom, one bath, um, the first floor is going to be um, just kind of the resident, like uh, you'll have a lobby space, not lobby space, but like the living area, the kitchen, all that sort of stuff. And then when you go upstairs, there'll be four bedrooms, your laundry room, and a bathroom. Um, the one we're in right now is going to be the four bed, Two, uh, two bathrooms. 
And so this one, there's two bedrooms and a bathroom and the laundry room on the first floor. And then when you go upstairs, there'll be two bedrooms and a bath. So the laundry room, there's just one of those and they'll be located on the first floor though. And these are fully furnished? Fully furnished, so you don't have to worry about your bed or mattress or anything like that. Um, but we'll show you the furniture inside one of the rooms. But as you can see the kitchen, you'll have a stove, um, some cabinet space, a microwave, a dishwasher, and a fridge um, unit and everything, which is really nice. As you can see our furniture, uh, we'll provide couches, a uh, diner table, um, a coffee table, TV stand, all that sort of stuff. Right here is the laundry unit that you'll have. It's a, a stackable one, um, and every resident will have one of those. Cool. And so we're going to go upstairs and show you what a bathroom is and what a suit room looks like. Mm -hmm. So this is if you have the two bathroom one. So if you walk in, um, so it will be a sink, toilet, and shower, and it will just be like this. If you're in the, one of the apartments where it's two bath, it's just one bathroom, what it'll look like instead is that there will be um, two sinks and cabinet space right when you walk in, and there will be a separate door in the bathroom and that leads to the shower, and there will be a separate door that leads to the uh, toilet, all inside that giant area of the bathroom. Cool? Let me just give them a view of the yeah. shower. And just for a question, the bathroom would be on the first floor and the four residential rooms would be on the second floor. Okay? Next, we're going to show you a room. So, all the furniture is the same in each dunk in a building. Um, you get a uh, five uh, dresser drawer, a wardrobe, That also has a, a two different little cubby spaces for hanging clothes, an area above that, and two extra drawers in here as well. You have a desk and a desk chair, and the bed as well. The bed is not loftable though, so this is where the height stays at. Um, if you want some bed risers though, you can uh, purchase those. Um, other than that, this is just uh, where the bed will sit. Uh, there's also a ceiling fan um, that they all have in the room. And one unique and cool feature is you actually have a patio. So every Duncan bedroom will have access to a patio. Um, the ones that are on um, um, A and B will share a patio, and C and D will share a patio. And so, okay, okay. Um, and so yeah, and so they'll share the patio and everything. Um, and they actually lock on the doors and stuff like that. So if your roommate comes out here, your doors locked. You still have it locked and everything, so you're fine. So yeah, and that's Duncan Apartments. Do we have any questions at all? We did get a few questions. Um, all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, light the house. Uh, Tammy has a question about the kitchen. How many yeah. outlets are in the kitchen? We can go chat. Do you have any other questions besides that one? Um, Nathan asked, how big are the student rooms? I couldn't find the measurements online. Well, we can measure real quick. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me grab my. I'm going to measure out the outlets right now. Okay. And let's get from this wall to this wall. Okay. That is 111 inches. And then you have a little bit of a lip here. Um, that is. Let's see. So you get another 14 and a half inches right there. And then the distance between these two, is 161 and 5 eighths, we'll say 162 inches. All right. And then Joey should be right back with that number of outlets. Tammy wants to know, what's the measurement from the top of the window to the floor? Okay. So there are, um, two sets of two outlets. So uh, there's an outlet that has two prongs in it, and then another one that has uh, two prongs in it. So it's 82 oh, inches. You can plug in. 82 inches from here down to the floor. All right. Uh, someone else was asking for the window measurement, so maybe they will want this yeah. way now. Let's go ahead and get this direction. Do you want that window as well? Oh, yeah, probably that one as well. 
steady my hand. Founders commented and said, that's my boss. <laughs> okay, that is um, 60, 61 and a half inches. And then this one is uh, 30 and a half inches, 30 and 3 eighths. All right. Width, but height, I think that height is it's the same. same. Yeah. And I got from the top to the floor, I can try to get from the top to the uh, to the lip, which is 63 inches. And Tammy also asked, what's the measurement of the space under the bed from frame to floor? From frame to floor. That is uh, 21 and 3 sixteenths. We'll call it, let's call it 21 and a half. And Nathan asked, do you guys know which of the D building rooms have the long beds and which one have the short beds? Um, so all the beds are now the same. So um, previously, uh, A building had different furniture. Um, and now that we have this, uh, they got tradition, traditioned out, um, transitioned out. So now all the furniture is the same. Yeah, I think, so let's just confirm. There's not like a short or long version. So whatever this is, is now going to be the standard. Yeah, it's 80. 80, right. 80 which is XL. Yeah, XL. All right, well, we're currently caught up on the questions. Question. Awesome. Awesome. I like it about Duncan, that's great. Yeah. Cool. All right. Do well, you have anything to say to the incoming students? Yeah, well, we'll see you all again. Or if you're a transfer student, we'll see you for the first time when you guys get here. It's super exciting to have our students here. Um, if you guys have any questions once you get here, uh, please feel free to reach out to your CDA, which will be Sonny. He's an awesome guy, and he'll help you get the, the right connections and everything with your right resources and stuff. If you have any additional questions, if you're watching this, you didn't get a chance to comment, or if you are watching uh, tomorrow um, and you want to ask some school questions, you can email housing at uark.edu, or you can email me since I'll be overseeing these apartments and stuff. My email is jdgemuen at uark.edu which is Joey Commitment, okay? So feel free to reach out if you have any questions and we'll see y'all here in a couple weeks. We did get one last oh, question. Okay. Cool. Go one for last it. Uh, someone asked for the closet measurements. Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right, we have a couple of things in here. Let's be sure we get the detail on these drawers. Did we already go over the detail? We have two drawers in there. So just so people know, there's two drawers in there like that. I don't know if you already got that in there. Yeah. All right, let me get the width fully of the, of the entirety. And someone asked, could you show a 200 level room? 200 level room, would it be any different? No, it'd be the same. That is uh, 17 inches across there. And someone also asked if they could see 17. a one, ba one bathroom room. But it's um, the same, isn't it? Yeah, so one bathroom is going to be different um, than a two bathroom. Um, and so we can, if you want, Christopher, we can go find another two bed, uh, bath um, situation so we can show the bathroom so that way they have an idea of what it looks like. Is there a room pretty close by? Would yeah, there should be one in here. Um, I can just look it up real fast. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, sure. Hey, we got some time. Why not? Yeah. That's all good. Uh, this is 34 and, let's see, 34 and 5 eighths all the way across there. And then that direction is gonna be 12 and a half inches. And then here, it's gonna be 53 and 5 sixteenths, so 53 basically and a half, um, right there. And then this final one is going to be 36 and 1 16th, so we'll call it 36 inches, this direction. Um, it should get us there. Someone was also wondering the desk measurements. It is 30 and a half inches high. And uh, 42, 43 inches in that dimension. And then finally, there's a little bit of a rounded lip here. So from the heaviest, from the longest side, we're looking at 
23 and three quarters inches. All right, and we also have one other person who also wants to see a one bath bathroom room. Okay, okay, we can go find one. Yeah, we'll go find one. If we go to the second floor, uh, the apartment above us, this should be one. Yeah? Nope, not this one. We're okay. gonna go to the next one. So we do have baby seats. Yeah, yeah. Were there right. people in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's the So this is what a lot of one bathroom looks like. So you can see the common area. And it's the same furniture as a two bedroom one. Um, this is uh, a boiler room, so you won't have access to this. Uh, this is what the kitchen looks like. We're gonna go upstairs. Someone said, I love the sweater, but is it already cold there? <laughs> yeah, it's not cold. It's not but I, uh, I was coming from a training session that we have and that room is freezing. And so that's why they was wearing the sweater. So I haven't been out in this all day. <laughs> so, but the room that we're in, it's like set, it's like 60 something degrees. It's always cold. So this is what a bedroom looks like. Same thing as the show room you showed earlier. Um, it's like a little bit of a corner kind of aspect of the two. So it's a little smaller than maybe one of the rooms on the first floor. Um, and then this is what the bathroom looks like. So, as I was mentioned earlier, there's going to be cabin spaces and two sinks. And then if you come to the, uh, to the right, um, you'll have a shower. And then to the left, you'll have the bathroom. The two in front don't have a height. And then that's the bathroom. Yeah. All right. So, and then correction, if you live on the, se uh, the second floor, um, so like apartment um, two, uh, uh, so we're going to a five. So those rooms A, B, no, so A, B will have a patio, but C, D will not. So correction on that earlier, not every room uh, student will have a patio. Um, only if, if you're on the second floor, one bathroom, and you're in C and D, you won't have a patio. A and B will have the patio though. Paula asks, do all 204s have micros on the counter? 204s? Um, microwaves come standard. Yeah, yeah. All the, all all apartments will have the micro uh, microwaves, no matter which uh, one you're in. All right. Well, those are all the questions. So, do you want to sign us off? Yeah, like I said before, we're excited to have y'all here soon, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, um, having y'all here and having a great year. And so, we'll see y'all in a couple weeks. Bye.